Welcome to another wonderful segment on SecureSet Spray Foam. Today we have the most unique project. We're here in an old barn uh, on this uh, owner's property. Very unique, it was built in 1934, so kind of a, almost a heritage uh, building. It's 60 feet long, we have four 15 feet wide and 30 feet wide sections of concrete. Over the years, apparently, water has come in on the west side of the barn and undermined this entire area. As you can see from the prep we've done here, it's 24 feet long, averages four feet wide. Each of these holes are marked, but we've estimated an average of four inches of void under the entire slab. So with those dimensions, we have approximately 32 cubic feet of void to fill. So you, you know that each one of these uh, kits can supply 10 cubic feet of foam, so we've brought multiple kits to do this. So what we have here, we have a failure of the concrete. It basically broke and hinged down. Uh, it dropped into the void. You can see the crack there. It runs about, oh, 24, 25 feet. And so what's happened is that it's dropped. It's kind of swung like a door. This will be the door jam, that'll represent the hinge. And when we fill this with foam, we, want the, we don't want the slab to come vertically, we want it to hinge back up so that this drop here will basically come and, and be uh, uh, flush uh, again. Now it doesn't look like it, but there's about a two inch drop uh, on some of this. And so what we're going to do is we're gonna start filling. We've put weights uh, along that cra uh, crack to help stabilize that hinge point. So we, we, we don't, again, we don't want the whole slab to lift. We just want it to tilt up. So we're ready to go. As we always do, we have to do our test shot first. So I've got the safety off and we're getting great flow. Now we're gonna start here on the left side and we're gonna move to the right. That has a half inch void there, and so what I anticipate is going to happen is that it's going to start to move uh, horizontally, and here we go. A good flow, you can hear it. Now remember, in our previous uh, uh, presentations, we know that with a uh, good pressure out of the canister, we are injecting about one cubic foot of expanded foam every minute. I can hear it over here to the left. All right, so we're gonna let this sit. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Well, these, I'm sure it's flowing quite a ways under the Thing. We, know, we know we're filling the voids. It's a big hole. Oh. Let this get a little bit hard. Ooh, that pressurized right away. I bet you there's a foam underneath this already. All right, well as you can see, we have been able to fill the cavity underneath this uh, dropped portion of the uh, concrete floor. We know that the foam has moved to all the points of least resistance. 
So now what we do is we go back and we pull these little ports and we will re-drill them so that we now have, again, f fresh access uh, to the, uh, the portholes. And then when we, we start again, we're going to push the foam past those areas that have already been solidified. This is what's really going to uh, pressurize and find every little nook and cranny underneath the slab. So that's our next phase. Okay, as you saw, we re-drilled the ports. And what we're going to do now is, since we know that we have the fill and the solidified foam under, now that the next phase is we're, we're beyond just filling the cavity, we're going to move into lifting the, uh, the, the, the broken piece of concrete. Again, our test shot. Good, very good flow. We're going to move down here to the end. I can hear it over here. Well, we are finished with the process of injecting the foam into the cavity. Worked beautifully. I want to take you through a slight summary of how this all came about again. So we had this uh, deep cavity, obviously, and we did our uh, injection points. Um, from an operational standpoint, we found that it was best to seal off the ends first and then work your way towards the middle. You can see over here to my right how we sealed off that portion of the cavity. And then, as you remember looking in the earlier part of the videos, uh, these, this uh, crack was sealed well. But here's the exciting part. This is the evidence. Once we had, once we had done all our initial um, injections. We went back and we re-drilled all the holes because now we know that the foam uh, that's going in on our second round is going to absolutely where there is um, any minute uh, cavity or, or void. We, we, did, uh, we did drill all of these a second time and used uh, additional uh, injection nozzles. But this is what I want you to see. Slowly, over time, as the foam was expanding, this floor started to, to raise. When we started, there were some areas that were as, as far as two inches uh, sunken. Uh, right here, this was about an inch and a quarter down. We're now at dead level. So um, t take a look at uh, how some of this foam was raised up. But more importantly, on the initial foaming where we had the uh, foam come up out of the cracks, once that hardened and then the slab raised up, you'll be able to see the gap that we were able to fill and uh, how much uh, distance the, the slab traveled. With all this done, it all comes down to this. What is the financial benefit of being able to do this by yourself? Here's the important thing. This is a 30 foot long by 15 foot wide slab of concrete, five inches thick. To tear this out, recompact the whole area with gravel, 
and reset this concrete, the bid was $7,200. We started earlier this morning, we worked three hours, we used four kits. Now, that was more than I had an estimated. I, I thought it was gonna be about 32 cubic feet. It turned out to about 40 cubic feet of space. Four kits is $1,499. That in comparison to 7,200. And with about three, maybe three and a half hours of time of our own invested. This is the benefit that we wanna show is possible with this formula that we have, the ease of use. This is what we've been trying for and what so many people have been asking about. The ability for this foam to lift about 6,900 pounds of concrete up as far as two inches in some places, fantastic. We've had another great day with SecureSet. Thank you very much.